Welcome to our tour. Mingala bashing. I'm Dayan. My name is Ivana. And I'm Arvi. Today, we're going to fly to a country in Southeast Asia. We'll check out the first of Bagani's great temples. And what remains one of the finest, most beautiful of all Bagani's architectural complexes. We're in Myanmar. Myanmar is a sovereign state in Southeast Asia bordered by Bangladesh, India, China, Laos, and Thailand. Ananda Temple is like a museum. You can study all kinds of Myanmar arts here. Architecture, stone sculpture, stucco, clay slacks, terracotta, wood carvings, artworks of blacksmiths, and more. Wow! Why is it called Ananda, you say? Actually, there are various speculations why it is named that way. First, when King Kansita asked eight arahats or saints to provide him with the design for the religious monument he was about to build, they created the image of Nandamula Cave Hall held to be in the Himalayas. So, the temple was constructed on the model of that image and it came to be known as Nandamu, which in course of time corrupted to sound Ananda. Second, the word Anand means very beautiful. The name Ananda must have been derived from the Sanskrit word. The temple is extremely beautiful. Lastly, there is a Pali word Anantapana, which means the endless wisdom of the Buddha. The temple symbolizes this attribute of the Buddha, hence it is called Ananta Temple. Ananda Temple was constructed in Kaza Sakrit, 452 M.E. by King Kansitha. He was also known as Si Lying Shin. His regnal title was Sri Tribhuvana Ditya Dhamma Yaza, meaning the King of Justice who shines like the sun over three auspicious worlds. The timing of building this temple is considered as a culmination of religious education that began during the Pahotanya Temple building activity in 1080 AD. The Theravada Buddhism adopted by the king motivated him to present the teachings of Buddha to his people in an accurate and a genuine way through the medium of this temple to unite Burma under one flag and thus creating mass religious enthusiasm. It has been inferred that the king, as the upholder of the law, wanted to convey his firm belief in the Buddhist doctrine according to his interpretation. The four standing Buddhas are adorned with gold leaf and each Buddha image faces a direction from north to south, stated to represent attainment of a state of nirvana. Each is given a specific name, Kasapa, South-facing, Kakusanda, North-facing, Kunagamana, East-facing, and Gotama facing west. The size of Ananda Temple is 289 feet from one end to the other, and 168 feet in height from the base to the portion atop, which was decorated with plaster moldings of downturned and upturned lotus petal motifs. The fencing wall measures 596 feet from the east to west and 592 feet from north to south. 
One architectural wonder of Ananda Temple is the natural ventilation system by means of windows built inside the thickness of the walls. There are light wells in the very high ceiling through which beams of light fall directly on the faces of the four gigantic statues of Buddha in standing posture facing four cardinal points. On each side of the structure are eight light wells through which light comes, passing through the three tires of walls for a distance of 108 feet and falls directly on the Buddha images inside the niche. Among the monuments in Bagan which have base works, Ananda Temple has the best. To get to Myanmar from Manila, you need to book a connecting flight from Manila to Rangon via Kuala Lumpur. It is a 3 hours and 45 minutes flight from Manila to Kuala Lumpur and 2 hours and 35 minutes from Kuala Lumpur to Rangon, 6 hours in total, with the amount of 13,527 pesos via Air Asia. Now for the cost of the trip. The Bagan Cultural Authority has introduced a single 5-day pass to the cultural zone for US dollars or 16,000 kyat. Since the USD is the best value of those options, it is best to bring the required amount in USD before arriving. You no longer are required to purchase an entry ticket prior to arriving at your accommodation within the cultural zone. Only your home country is recorded against your ticket. Passport and accommodation details are not asked of. No Beast Monk Initiation Rites During long school breaks, boys are inducted into monkhood with this ritual. This can be observed with the first signs of loud temple music blaring out a day before and on the day itself coming from a monastery around, in and out of the walls of, the northern side of Old Bagan. Stay safe! As the Romans do, the best footwear to go about in this site is a pair of plastic slippers, flip-flops, or crocs. Wearing socks and tightly laced shoes are a hassle. At the end of the trip, your shoes and socks need a good washing. Be extra careful when you climb the stairs of less visited temples. Bring a bottle of water. And once empty, refill it at your nearest travel agency or banks you happen to stop by. Most sites, including all touristy pagodas or temples, have water dispensers with purified water, where you can refill your bottle for free. Knock knock. Who's there? Ananda. Ananda who? My Ananda don't. My Ananda don't. My Ananda don't want none unless you got some buns. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was super fun, wasn't it? Of course. of course! So guys, don't forget to visit the Ananda Temple when you come to Bagan, Myanmar. Catch us on our next episode of Art Tour! Ta-ta!